it's not unusual for a school to have a field station, but nobody else is doing what we're doing. In fact, other field stations now have come to us to learn what we're doing and how we're making this so successful. We're uh, in the middle of Lake Gracetown in South Central Pennsylvania. The college leases uh, about 365, 360 acres of land off of the Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, we're part of the Lake Gracetown project, which is about 29,000 acres in total, which includes uh, the lake itself. It's a very large lake, and uh, we're fortunate to have it here, kind of like a big giant laboratory in our own backyard. The field station actually serves not only the environmental department, but it serves a wide range of other departments as well. Over the years, we've had students from biology, chemistry, geology, uh, the education department, uh, peace and conflict studies, a wide range of departments that have been out here. So there are a lot of opportunities uh, to come here. One way to think about the field station is a branch campus where students live out there and they take all of their classes out there for regular 15 week semesters. The faculty commute out to the station day, but the students live out there with a residence director who is in charge of residence life programs as well as safety and security for the students. Now these residential semesters are uh, fashioned toward some of the specific programs of emphasis at Junietta. Our uh, themes include our wildlife theme, uh, which includes wildlife management and techniques, so winter dendrology course, animal behavior, and geographic information systems. Uh, in the fall, we have an aquatic ecology theme with uh, aquatic ecology, limnology, geographic information systems, the sense of place seminar, and a research seminar. Our third rotation is our new environmental restoration rotation with courses in watershed ecology and restoration, terrestrial habitat restoration, geographic information systems again, and nature photography. And our fourth theme is our forest conservation semester. This semester includes conservation biology, forestry, geographic information systems, a research seminar, and fire ecology. We also do offer courses in the summer, and particularly a summer semester, which includes courses in ornithology, mammalogy, and herpetology. And these courses are geared toward folks seeking certification, again, from the Wildlife Society as an associate wildlife biologist. Now, there are some major benefits of this approach to these um, semesters. The first is that of the learning community. And this is because students take all their classes together, exams, the same assignments together. In fact, the learning community is the single most powerful pedagogy in undergraduate education. And this is a great opportunity. A second strength of the approach is that it's very easy to incorporate field research. It's right outside your window, all these opportunities. We work closely with agencies. For example, we're working with the Game Commission on uh, monitoring wood rat population dynamics. We work with the Army Corps of Engineers on studying uh, their forestry practices on forestry generation. We work with the uh, Corps of Engineers also in looking at the spread of invasive plants on Raystown Lake. So students, this in, uh, research is incorporated into their semesters and the students get research experience. They work with professionals. They put out professional research uh, presentations and papers. Uh, this is a really great opportunity, a very high impact learning practice built into our semester. Another great thing about these, uh, and the students love this, is that if you're all taking the same classes together at the same time, it's very easy to then redo the schedule to take advantage of trips. And so we take long distance field trips each semester. These trips allow students to uh, talk directly with researchers, see long-term, large-scale ecological research, and also see new habitats and uh, species that they would not encounter in central Pennsylvania. Uh, finally, a fourth uh, advantage of these semesters is that um, we have this flexible schedule. This schedule allows students to take advantage of special opportunities as they emerge. Uh, for example, we just cancel classes for three days of the semester to work with scientists from the Corps of Engineers on a lake plant survey. And the students are out with scientists from um, Florida, from Vicksburg, Mississippi, working closely on these surveys. 
We had the opportunity to work with the Game Commission and they needed people to help rocket net turkeys. And so we canceled some classes in the morning, shifted them to the afternoon, and the students could spend their morning rocket netting turkeys with the Game Commission. Uh, we've even been able to allow students to participate in controlled burns uh, and fire management is an opportunity as well. And it's hard to predict. You usually don't know it a couple of days before, but because all the faculty are on board with making these experiences for students work, we're able to make them happen. So uh, at the field station itself, we have two lodges. We can house up to 14 students along with our resident director. And so the main facility is known as Schuster Hall. It's a 6,000 square foot multi-use facility uh, LEADS certification. All the classes take place there. We've got both an upstairs and a downstairs and a main commercial kitchen where a chef comes every day to prepare food for the students. There's also then several boats at the field station, including pontoons and other runabouts. We've got a small fleet, if you will, of kayaks that are available for it. The station itself is nearly 100% wooded with some small other openings and we have a private bay area that students can conduct research on in there as well. As I said before, you know, while we lease that, that portion of it, you know, we can travel throughout the entire project area as well as off, off part of it as well. With 29,000 acres, there's not much uh, that we can't introduce the student to in some kind of real world experience, whether it be research or just being out there and seeing it. What makes the field station special, uh, I don't know that you'll find this type of opportunity to work with faculty. We put a lot of time and effort into, uh, into it. Come out there, live in residence, and participate in this type of experience with a group of people who eventually become very tight, lifelong friends.